So this might be the last, the last class trial. Might not be, but I'm seriously considering that this is. Oh, I'm not sure if I want to start it right now or I should drag us out, but... It's best set now, you know? I mean, I'm curious where this is going! I want to know! Well, let's hope I don't run out of space again. <laughs> that would suck. Ahem. Now then, let's begin with a basic explanation of the class trial. During the trial, you'll present your arguments for who the culprit is and vote for who done it. Vote correctly, and only the blackened will be punished. But if you pick the wrong person, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and that person will graduate. Graduation is meaningless here. We already know that. We don't need your rules anymore. We'll find our own reasons to live. And we'll do whatever it takes to survive. Wow! An actual talking robot! I've never seen one of those before. Look who's talking. Seriously? What happened to Kokichi? Why isn't he here? Aw, oh, don't make that face, killer. This case has some unique circumstances. Unique circumstances? Because for this murder, the victim's identity is completely unknown. Given these circumstances, decided to start off this class trial while the victim is still anonymous. After all, it'd be a shame if I let such a rare opportunity go to waste. Is that possible? I thought everyone had to participate in the class trial. Don't worry, the person who's still alive is waiting behind the scenes for their cue. So they aren't both dead. Uh, huh. Part of the overall production. Anyway, let's get this trial moving! I guess we have no choice but to start the trial under these conditions. What's there to even talk about? The Blacken is the mastermind, Kokichi. Yeah, that's the only thing I can think of, too. It's too soon to decide anything for certain. We don't even know if Kaito was the victim. How long are you going to say that? The victim is Kaito. End of discussion. But we need to be absolutely sure if we don't positively identify the victim. The other person will never show themselves, right? Before we can identify a suspect, we need to determine who the victim is. Why are we even talking about something so obvious? What a pain. Everyone thinks that Kaito is a victim, but I have my doubts. There's a chance that Kaito is still alive. If we keep discussing the case, I'm sure we'll see the truth. Press controls are short distance away from me. The uh, two labels up and down, the body is quite correct, but persons are identifiable. That's Kaito a great was point. taken prisoner by Kokichi. So he could have killed him whenever he wanted. And the hydraulic press had his clothes inside. Kokichi can't be the victim because there's no evidence for it. So the victim must be Kaito. And the culprit must be Kokichi! Really good guy today. Kazing! If only mages could cast revive spells. But magic does have, re have revive spells. That's what Necronomicon is all about. Jeez, man, come on. Get on the same page. There's no evidence what allows us to confirm the victim or the survivor. And it's not as if there's no evidence whatsoever that Kakishi is the victim. Yeah, I'm the thinking what Micah said is really important. Okay. Like Kokichi. Mm, most so he could have killed him whenever he wanted. And the hydraulic press had his clothes inside. Kokichi can't be the victim because there's no. Oh, That's 
There we go. I have evidence that points to Kokichi being the victim. I found this in the hangar. Yeah. Is that Kokichi's coat? Yes. And look here. There are blood stains on the sleeve. That would indicate that Kokichi suffered an external injury, correct? Kokichi was injured? The fact that these were flushed down the toilet implies that they are evidence of a crime. What about it? Kaito's clothes were in the hydraulic press. As long as we have that evidence, there's no doubt that Kaito was the one murdered. Y yeah, that's right. It's one of those irrefutable evidence thingies. Ever since she found the body in the hangar, Maki insisted that it's Kaito's. But why is that? I thought we had an understanding. I thought she'd want to believe Kaito is still alive. She knows he's a killer, so she's trying to protect him. Because she's adorable. I wait since Maki is hung up on Kaito's clothes. In that case, I need to de demonstrate the flaw in the line of that evidence. If I do that, I think she'll realize that there's a chance that Kaito is alive. Actually, there's something bothering me about the clothes found in the hydraulic press. Mm -hmm. What about them? There's something peculiar about these clothes. Uh, sleeve. That's it. I'm thinking the hole is in the same place in both clothes. Why was only the sleeve sticking out of the hydraulic press? If Kaito had been crushed by the press, the sleeve shouldn't have been empty. But he wears it like that. There should have been an arm inside the sleeve as well. So the fact that we found an empty sleeve should... Shall I kill that logic? Huh? You're dumber than I thought if I have to go out of my way to explain it to you. If you can't even see that, then be quiet. Otherwise, you're just annoying me. Sweat the coat sleeve sticking out of the hydraulic press. Hold it. It's rather telling. Uh, both time it's smeared for hanging bathroom to the hydraulic press as though something was dragged. It couldn't have been anyone else. But Kaito, if you can't see that, then you weren't looking hard enough. I wasn't looking hard enough? What do you mean? He always dressed himself in a rather odd manner. He never put his arms through his coat sleeves. So when the hydraulic press crushed him, all that stuck out was his coat sleeves. If you understand to be quiet already, Otherwise, you're getting in the way. Hmm. Mike is claiming that we saw it, but I know that it's not. There's a left sleeve sticking out in the press. I have to make her understand. He always dressed himself in a rather odd manner. He never put his arms through his coat sleeve. Uh, so yeah, I'm just... Him, I think it's kind of scrolled, but yeah, he pressed the wrong button because the mouse button uses a different one for some reason. Otherwise, you're getting in the way. Yes, 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 yes. He always dressed himself in a okay, not that. He never put his arms through his this. I'll cut through your words. There we go. The controls. Problem with the controls in them. Yes, it's true. Kaito never put his arms through his sleeve. But that was just his right arm. He wore his left sleeve normally. And the left sleeve was the one we found outside the press. Knowing how Kaito wore his coat, that's oddly strange, isn't it? I'm gonna be honest, I didn't even notice that. I thought he didn't wear both of his sleeves. Then maybe neither of his arms were through the sleeves. Huh? It's a possibility. In the end, your reasoning is full of holes. Stop getting in my way. I have to defeat Kokichi. Mikey, what's really going on? 
since you've made up your mind, North Kite is definitely dead. But what? But why would you do that? It's like Maki said, though. Kaito's gotta be the victim. Cause if Kokichi, the mastermind, was dead, the killing game would be over. Yeah, that's true. Monokuma, hurry up and bring Kokichi here. We already know who the victim is. Huh? Already? You sure it's not too soon? It is. It is. We need the suspect present, now that he's the subject of our discussion. Gotcha. I guess I'll bring him out now. Hey, Mr. Suspect! That's your cue! What? Why is an Exosol here? Haha, <laughs> whoops, my bad. Seems like I gave you guys a scare, huh? What is this? Is that Kaito's voice? Kaito? There was a lot going on, so I just hid in an Exosol and kind of dozed off. <laughs> That's why I'm so late. Anyway, what's going on, guys? Oh, hold on. Then the one that died wasn't Kaito. Stupid! That was just a lie! <laughs> you guys thought I died? <laughs> I would never! No way! Kokichi? I'm gonna live till I die. I'm gonna laugh instead of cry. <laughs> oh. Wow, that's old. How old are you? I thought as much. Your appearance right now is fit for a lowly asshole like you. <laughs> You're making me blush. You're getting so angry over me. Is that really you, Kokichi? That's right, Cracker Jack. Seriously, how old are you? Then why are you hiding in there? Show yourself. Oh, this is more for self-defense. Little Miss Cranky Pants would kill me if I showed myself. I understand how you guys must feel. You can't believe it because I'm like this, right? <laughs> That's what I thought. In that case, I brought evidence. Evidence? Ta-da! The video camera. It was in the warehouse, but I brought it to the hangar, just in case. Man, that was a smart move. Thanks to this, I filmed it so everyone could see it clearly. The moment the victim died. Well, what did you say? Alrighty then. Let's watch this shocking moment. Hey, Monokuma. Can you connect the video camera to the monitor? Roger that! Man, come and grab the camera from Exosol. Who could up to the room, the court room's monitor? I play the tape for us. Huh? Kaito? This is terrible! Why would something like this... I saw it through my fingers. The moment Kaito was crushed. He's gonna... But that's a lie. He didn't die then. There's a... a yeah, but safety would not allow it. By the way, I'd like to add that this footage has not been doctored in any way. This video camera only has the basic functions. Just the play, record, and pause button so you can't edit after filming it. And of course, I didn't upload it to a computer to edit it either. Right, Monokuma? Oh, you can talk. Your answer is necessary for a fair discussion. I see. If it's necessary.
necessary for a fair discussion, then I will answer. No trace of that footage was found on any of the computers inside the Academy. See, if it wasn't connected to any computer, then editing the footage would be impossible. God, I hate that answer. Because it doesn't prove shit. He could have just deleted it. Which means this footage is 100% real. If that's the case, then it would seem our suspicions can be lifted. The body we found inside the hangar, crushed in the hydraulic press, is definitely Kaito. Mm -hmm. Was that... was that really him? Poor Kaito. I can't believe he died such a horrible death. He died with his guts and his brains splattered all over that machine. Oh, uh, don't worry, they weren't very, very much splattered. They were smooshed into a nice chunky paste. Can you focus on something more important? Why why was Kaito killed? He should have no reason to kill Kaito. He had just told us what he was a mastermind, but the kingdom game was over. So what would he gain by killing Kaito? <laughs> it looks like you finally believe that I'm the one in this exosome. Yes. With that, we can definitively say that the culprit is you. Huh? Why? You filmed the moment the victim died, which means you were present at the scene. As the person who filmed this footage, you're the only one who could be the culprit. But if the culprit shot the video, why would they go out of their way to show it? Oh man, you got me! Yeah, I'm the culprit. What? Jeez, I totally dug my own grave. Here's the truth. I decided to participate in this trial in an exosol after I killed Kaito. Of course, it was mostly to make the victim unknown. To jazz up this trial. I took that footage for proof so I could reveal it after you guys get the correct answer. But <laughs> I totally spaced out. I wasn't supposed to show it right away. So does that mean you admit to the crime? Oh. I dug my own grave again? Well, I don't think you guys will believe any of the excuses I make now. So, I give up. You're giving up? Does that mean it's been decided? Is it okay that this trial was so short? That's fine. We knew from the very start that Kokichi was the killer. But before we vote, I want to say something to Kokichi. You may be the mastermind, but I won't let you escape after you violated the rules. Uh... Why do you care? That would desecrate the killing game Junko and Oshima created, right? Your beloved Junko and Oshima. Junko? Whatever! It's voting time now! Let's go before Kokichi changes his... No, hold on a second. This isn't right. The culprit comes in, confesses to the crime, and the trial ends? That's not how this goes. That doesn't sound like the kind of game Kokichi or Monokuma or Junko would play. What if the mastermind got tired of it? The remnants of despair were like that. No, if they were tired of it, they wouldn't have put all that effort into the video. There would have been no need for this class trial in the first place. Something's not right. We need to get a better feel for the situation. I think Kokichi has some sort of plan. He's trying to trap us. It reminds me of certain lucky student in the second game. Trap us? Are you saying Kokichi isn't the culprit? Then are you suggesting one of us is the culprit? What? If it's not Kokichi, then the culprit must be one of us. That's not possible! 
No, I didn't say that. I was just saying it's dangerous to trust Kokichi. <laughs> Shuichi is so disgusting. But it's exactly like Shuichi said. I'm actually not the culprit. Seriously? What? But that contradicts what you said previously. Yep, first, that was a lie. Sorry, I lied again. The real culprit of this case is super bad at hiding themselves, so I thought I could help. I pretended to be the culprit by using the footage. It made the game more interesting, too. Uh, are you serious? Uh, what's the truth and what's a lie? I don't know anymore. It's fine, because Kokichi is the culprit. He killed Kaito. No matter how much he deceives us, it won't change our minds. The footage shows he did it. Kokichi has to be the only option. The only option? That's really true. I'm just going to leave it at that. There's no doubt that Kokichi is the culprit. We all saw that footage from earlier, right? Kaito got crushed to death. What a horrible video. Whoever committed that crime was with Kaito in the hangar. Which just leaves Kokichi then. Then the culprit is... Kokichi Oma, the mastermind of this entire killing game. And Kaito's killer. Kikichi killed Kaito with a hydraulic press. That's a consensus right now. But that might not be the truth. What if he was already dead? There's no doubt that Kokichi is the culprit. We all saw that footage from earlier, right? Kaito got crushed to death. That's wrong! The safety function would make it impossible to kill Kaito with a press. Yes, it was written on the safety precaution. The hydraulic press will automatically stop if its infrared sensor detects a living organism. So the hydraulic press won't move at all if there's a living person under it? Which is why it couldn't have been used to kill Kaito. Which means it's more likely that Kaito was crushed after being killed by some other means. in that video he was already dead by then but you could disable the infrared sensor of the safety function with an electro bomb no i don't think kokichi would use an electro bomb for that purpose it would have taken down the hangar's alarm system and exosol's remote control it would have put kokichi at a significant disadvantage wouldn't it disable the press controls but you can't be too sure I wouldn't do that. I'm the type who would do anything for fun. Also, we don't have any evidence of a different murder method other than the hydraulic pr No, we do. I have a plausible theory for the murder. What? Yes, yeah, so there's a clue that suggests the victim was killed before being crushed. I found it somewhere around the hydraulic press. Uh, around the hydraulic press, so it can't be any of that. There's my case, hydraulic press, safety function. Okay, let's go. Is that it? This is it! He wasn't killed with blood. There was a swipe pattern blood stain in the hangar, suggesting a body was dragged. The blood stain goes from the bathroom all the way to the press. That was the restroom where Kaito was being held, wasn't it? Blood stains were also found inside the bathroom. That can't be coincidence. So Kaito was killed in the restroom, then dragged to the press and crushed? If the blood stain even was Kaito's. What? We only guessed that Kaito was killed in the bathroom. Since his body was crushed, we'll never know if Kaito died some other way. 
might not be able to examine the body, but we do have evidence that suggests the cause of death. Shut on the sleeve. That's his mouse. There. So much more precise. Jeez. The small hole on the sleeve of Kaito's coat is the key to his cause of death. No, it's not impossible, I can show you. Open what left a small hole in the cat asleep. Crossbow. This is it. I believe the weapon was the crossbow found in the bathroom. <laughs> a crossbow arrow would certainly leave a hole that small. Can we then conclude that Kaito was shot with that crossbow? If so, that crossbow just might be the actual murder weapon used to kill Kaito. I see. So surprising that a crossbow is the murder weapon. Seriously, Himiko, what's wrong? She probably needs to pee. Anyway, about Kaito getting shot. If that was his cause of death, then I wonder who shot him with the crossbow. Well, I already know. But I won't tell you. He's just playing with us. Then let's show him that playtime is over. Let's show him that the students of Hope's Peak Academy will never submit to despair. Hope? Despair? I wonder who shot Kaito with the crossbow. What a mystery, right guys? Who else but you could have done it? The shot would need to be fired. From inside the hangar to hit Kaito. We couldn't go in the hangar. The alarm system and electric barrier were in the way. If we couldn't go in the hangar, and Kokichi had been in there, then he must be the one. I see. So I'm the culprit. Kaito okay, would have been in there, but another weapon is a crossbow. Even from outside, you could shoot the target inside. I wonder who shot Kaito with the crossbow. What a mystery, right guys? Who else but you could have done it? The shot would need to be fired. From inside the... <laughs> That's wrong! Even without going in the hangar, it was possible to land a shot with a crossbow. There was a window in the bathroom of the hangar. Maybe it wasn't possible to get in, but you could have shot through the window. And remember that Kaito was confined to the bathroom. So if they shot Kaito through the window, they could have killed him in the hangar. Which means the murder suspect list grows to six people, including me! <laughs> what did you say? But put plainly, that means... It seems Shuichi wants to make one of us the culprit. Is that it? Is that what a detective does? Huh? Do detectives always accuse people, even when they're friends? Yeah, you should have kind of noticed that from the first in the previous trial. It seems like it. You suspected Kaito in the previous class trial, too. You're always suspicious of your friends. That's what Detective does. W what's wrong, Maki? You seem like you're kind of on edge. Of course I am. When we said we would defeat the remnants of despair, someone got in our way. No, you don't understand. I'm not trying to... It doesn't matter how much you get in my way. I will absolutely defeat Kokichi. I won't let despair escape. I won't let it win. Now, now. Let's stop this boring fight and continue on with the not-so-boring trial. 
<laughs> you asshole. So we all agree that the murder could be done by anyone and not just me, right? That might be true, but I didn't know about the window. Neither did I. Really, Himiko? What's the matter? You've been weird since we mentioned small holes. What? Are you after my small hole too? I freaking knew she's gonna go there. I didn't know then, but I knew she's gonna go there. See? Now that's definitely weird. Look at it this way. Just because the culprit could be anyone, not everyone is a suspect. We can pretty much narrow it down to anyone who knew about the crossbow. I never knew about any crossbow. In other words, I'm not suspicious. There's no way you can consider me. It does concern me that Himiko went to the hangar last night. Well, really? You went to the hangar, Himiko? Yes, she did. I definitely saw her. You, you were watching me? It's awfully suspicious that you went to the hangar last night. Okay, then the culprit is Himiko. Wait, don't say it's me. Maki's more suspicious than I am. What? That crossbow came from your research lab, right? You could have gotten that crossbow whenever you wanted. Anyone could have gone to her research lab, though. She's not the only suspect. I don't know about that. Definitely the most suspicious. Even if you make that scary face at me, I'm not gonna get scared. Because if you start panicking, then we'll know that you're the culprit. I said I'm not the culprit, I swear! Kokichi's the suspicious one! Kumaki too! They're both the culprit! Why am I a suspect? Anyone could have entered my research lab. Yeah, I'll admit that I'm suspicious. Okay, maybe I am the culprit. Maybe I am the culprit! Yeah, this is gonna suck. Why am I the number one suspect? Because I was in the hangar. If you are the culprit. Did you explain the crossbow? There's a good magic sword that doesn't really matter at all. So I went then who I is the number one suspect? So keep and I left the one who shot Kaito! Jeez, Kimiko statement yeah, is definitely the them. Too much information at the same time. Kimiko statement was clearly suspicious, and it might be better to start there. Why am I the number one suspect? Because I was in the hangar! If you are the culprit, did you explain the crossbow? There's a good knowledge source that doesn't matter at all. So I went then who acts in the poor chest? Fuck yourself. There we go. I heard it. You said that you went to the hangar empty-handed. But that's a lie, isn't it? What are you talking about? It's not a lie. But Kibo saw you. He said you were headed toward the hangar, carrying a large black bag. Yes, Himiko was definitely carrying a large black bag. Th no, that was probably Sumugi cosplaying as me. You know I can't cosplay as someone unless they're a fictional character. Himiko, this is the bag you were carrying, isn't it? That's the crossbow case. There's no mistake. That is the bag I saw Himiko carrying. <laughs> what? Hold on. Himiko went to the hangar with a crossbow? Uh-oh. Well, it's decided then. Wait! That's wrong! I just brought it there! I didn't shoot it! It's the truth! Please believe me! You're right. I believe you. Himiko is totally telling the truth. Not you! If you believe me, it makes me look like I'm lying! 
<laughs> that is true. But can we really trust Himiko here? She's acting very suspiciously. Well, it could be she's blaming herself for his death because she brought a crossbow and she wasn't actually doing anything. You know. Damn it, mate. Hold this one to bottle. Because of him. That fucker. <laughs> if you cut with a crossbow, you'd have to be fairly good with it. Wait, maybe Himiko wouldn't have been able to use a crossbow. Uh, disassembled from a uh, stored in a large black case, it was complicated to assemble, it would be difficult, yes. <laughs> Get out of here. Shit. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. ah. Why do you move around? Oh, yeah, it doesn't come back. Got it over there. Get rid of her. That's the truth. She's like, one of truth. <laughs> yeah, shut up. No one will bounce me. I don't understand. Yeah, I guess we myself. No. Yep, yep, that's true too. No, 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 no. I didn't even use the crash. Stop, no. Stop, stop, stop. stop. Mm -hmm. Another true statement. Arrgh. And that's all. I didn't God do damn it. in the hangar. That's just crazy. It's not the culprit. Yeah, I totally agree. God damn it, a freaking moving text. Uh, yes, yes, yes. I didn't even use the Stop. Stop. I agree. Damn. Damn. I don't think Himiko used the crossbow. More accurately, she couldn't use it. Couldn't use it? Why not? The crossbow inside this case was disassembled. Kaito and I learned how to assemble the crossbow from Maki, so we could have done it. But I don't believe someone without the proper training could have assembled it. Well, what if Maki taught Himiko how to assemble the crossbow? He didn't teach me that! Right, Maki? What's wrong? Are you mad about before? Sorry. I thought they were gonna suspect me, so I lied. I really have to question your morals if you're blaming Maki for your lie, Himiko. I don't think you're allowed to say something like that. Sorry, Maki. Please, can you tell them the truth? Fine. I'm not going to lie. I didn't teach Himiko how to assemble the crossbow. She couldn't have used it. See? I told you! Just like I said. Everyone who suspected me needs to apologize right now! Nope. She changed back so fast, I think I might have whiplash now. Then, why did you bring the crossbow to the hangar, Himiko? I was asked to. You know, now when I think about it, did Tsumugi ever contribute anything? I mean, she sometimes, sometimes said funny things, but to the trials, did she add anything ever? <laughs> Asked to? Perhaps the person who asked was... Kikichi? It was Kikichi, right? Not like I'd ever do something Kikichi asked me to. I was you know? Wrong. Yeah. Kaito? How, how would she talk to Kaito? That's it! Was it... Kaito? Huh? 
Kaito? Only Kaito or Kokichi would have asked for a crossbow to be brought to the hangar. Because Kaito knows how to assemble the crossbow, he certainly could have used it. Knowing that, I can't imagine that anyone else would have asked Himiko. I do not think she would bring it at Kokichi's request. Of course not. Why would I ever listen to Kokichi? Because I know you like me. <laughs> Like you. Hey, don't play with Himiko's heart. But I think Okay didn't ask Himiko to do that. And Okay is trying to keep a promise we made yesterday. Why didn't Kibo saw see him the first time when she would go into the hangar then? Ah jeez. Don't you worry, I'll do something about all this. That's a promise. Oh, you guys are working so hard. I can't just sit back and sit back and relax. But why were you keeping that a secret, Himiko? Well, Kaito sort of asked me to keep it a secret. And then Kaito died, and I got scared. I thought it was gonna be next. You're the worst for trying to pin the blame on Maki just for that reason. Maki, teach this dumb monkey the true terror of human beings. Don't bully the person you like! This is way beyond bullying a grade school crush. Himiko, when exactly did Kaito ask you to do this? Um, I think it was around evening yesterday. I was so nervous about fighting Kokichi, I couldn't get to sleep. So I took a walk near the hangar, and that's when Kaito called out to me. I got startled, and wet myself a little, and then he asked me to get him a crossbow. Um, that one part was, uh, you know what? Never mind. Yeah, too much information. So if Kaito asked for a crossbow, does that mean he was going to kill Kokichi? No, he said it was to disable Kokichi. I wouldn't have helped him otherwise. I trusted Kaito and took a crossbow from Maki's lab. That's when I witnessed Himiko. But then, what did Kaito do after he had the crossbow? I don't know. I just handed him the crossbow, then went right back to the dorm. Presumably, Kaito tried to attack Kokichi, only to be disarmed of the crossbow. And then, Kokichi returned fire and shot Kaito. That sequence of events seems logical. No, it happened a little differently. Both Kaito and Kokichi shot the crossbow. Nice proof of that. Uh, Kaito's code, no. Wait, Kaito's code, yes. Kaito's got Kokichi. So, first, yes. This is it! Remember that when we found Kokichi's clothes, there were holes in the back and sleeve. The same kind of hole that was found in Kaito's coat. Actually, that's a back, right? Get shot right in the spine. He must have been paralyzed. Kokichi was shot by the crossbow too? And it was Kaito who shot him, right? Hmm, I'm not sure. I don't remember anything like that. You don't remember whether or not you were shot? There is no doubt that they shot each other with the crossbow, but... It doesn't matter. Huh? It doesn't matter what happened in between. In the end, Kokichi killed Kaito. Like has been acting strangely. But why? Does she know something? If so, what does she know? Maybe Maki's right. It doesn't matter what happened in the middle. It always matters! You always gotta know the whole deal before you make a conclusion. And in the end, there's no mistake that Kokichi killed Kaito. Then let's hurry up and vote. No, it's too soon. There are still mysteries. Who cares about that? We already know who the culprit is. You sure about that? Oh no. <laughs> Don't just come up like that, man. You kinda scared me. 
What? Now he's joining in? As the one running this trial, it bothers me when anyone says mysteries don't matter. It affects the overall entertainment value, so I encourage you to really think about things. After all, there should be some mysteries that still matter. For example, is Kokichi really inside that Exosol? Stuff like that. Yep. What? What are you saying? We already finished that discussion a while ago. Kokichi's gotta still be alive since the killing game's still going. His voice is even coming from the Exosol and everything. But we heard it speak in Kaito's voice earlier, didn't we? Yeah, don't rely on that. After all, this Exosol has a voice changer. It... what? Ha! Because of that, nobody realizes I'm pretending to be Kokichi. But no more! Sorry for the wait, guys! The Luminary of the Stars has arrived! This time for real! What? What's going on? I told you, I'm Kaito! I was just pretending to be Kokichi, is all. There's a bit of a situation going on, so I didn't really have a choice. Sorry about tricking you guys like that. My bad. Huh? So Kaito's in there after all? Don't be stupid. How many times are you going to be tricked by him? That's Kokichi pretending to be Kaito. Hey now, Maki Roll. Don't you believe me? Don't... ever... call me that! Whoa there, chill! You really think I'm Kokichi? I mean, I guess I understand. Sorry, I can't really get out of this thing right now. Why not? I can't move because of the injury I got from Kokichi. It's so bad I can't even stand. That's why I'm in this Exosol. Is that so? But if you guys don't believe me, then we can't move on. So, you're up, Shuichi. What? Me? Explain to everyone how I wasn't the one that died. Kato is alive after all. No, maybe that's just what I want to believe. Is it really true? What story does this evidence tell? Does that story end with Kaito and Kikichi being the victim? I need to give a well-reasoned answer to that question soon. I can't look away from the truth. <sighs> Have Kaito's victim. Should we check out the truth? Kaito is victim, yes. I think, I think we're both victims, and the one in the Exosol is either a robot or... Uh, or uh, Necronomicon came back into play. We still didn't fi figure out if it actually works. So what I'm thinking is maybe someone got reanimated and they... Uh, they were a mastermind, and Monokuma this whole time was just a, just a robot. I mean, after he was destroyed once, he was repaired, and then uh, it doesn't matter if anyone tried to repair it to make more copies because he wasn't just destroyed after that. And in any case, it wasn't. <laughs> God, I just keep making guesses. Yeah, I'm just making it worse. I'm trying. I really am, but I can't think of anyone other than Kaito. Most of the evidence we have points to Kaito. Hey, what's the matter, Shuichi? Just hurry up and tell everyone why I'm not dead. Should be easy. No, I won't. Because you're not Kaito. Kaito is already dead. Despair will never die! <laughs> good, good! This is already more entertaining! Now, the Ultimate Academy is proud to present its very own more phenomenal trial ground! This again. Ah, jeez. Yeah, of this crap. <laughs> it still doesn't get lifted up. Is 
like nobody alive anymore. I suspect that Kaito is inside the Exosol. I got this. Unless he comes out of the Exosol, we can't confirm that. He said that he can't leave the Exosol because he's injured. Lucky. Anyone who knows about Kaito's injury can make that claim. Is it possible that Kokichi got crushed instead of Kaito? Lucky. Did you watch the footage? Kaito was the one who got crushed. But there was an arrow hole on Kokichi's shirt. I got this! Kaito's clothes had arrow holes too. I want to believe Kaito is still alive and defeated the mastermind, but... I got this! Because the evidence doesn't support the claim that Kaito is still alive. Why are you Crap. so opposed to Kaito being alive? I got this! Because the evidence doesn't support the claim that Kaito is still alive. I ever thought that. <laughs> yeah, fuck that. I up, want to up. believe Kaito is still alive. When we are inconsistent in our positions in the week, we have to work together. In order to get to the truth, we have to accept that Kaito is dead. I suspect that Kaito is inside the Exosol. I got this! Unless he comes out of the Exosol, I can't confirm it. Yeah, right. that he can't leave the Exosol because he's lucky. Anyone who knows about Kaito's injury can make that claim. Is it yeah. possible that Kokichi Lucky! Did you watch the footage? Kaito was the one who got crushed. But there was an I got this! Holes. Kaito's clothes had arrow holes too. I like how I'm just interrupting him before he even starts talking like Oh we gotta come out, I didn't even finish my sentence. Why? How can you just prove something I, I didn't even say? Because the evidence doesn't support the claim that Kaito is still alive. Okay, uh, shit. Buttons. Uh... I was wrong! Crap. God damn it, I can't... Where is it? Uh... There we go. Okay. No, we're gonna get to overwhelming. Just a bit more, we can give up until everyone's gonna... Uh... A... A circle. Yeah. Plus. Uh, triangle. There we go. What the hell? I don't want to believe it. In a way, I still can't. But the evidence. The evidence shows that Kaito must be the one who died. I hate it. I hate it so much. But it's the truth. I see. If that's the conclusion you've arrived at, Shuichi, then there must be no mistake. Then the one here is. <laughs> Looks like I messed around too much. Sorry, that was just a little joke. What a sick joke! You're still an asshole. True, and I can't forgive him. But we still need to stay calm, be rational. Because we need to get to the truth of Kaito's death. <laughs> yeah! Just keep calm and carry on! What the hell? Why are you saying that? What part of that was calm? Getting back on topic. Why don't we examine the crossbow a little more closely? I think we need to get all the facts straight, so we don't fall for any more lies. Fine. Okay, let's discuss that then. Why are you acting like you're in charge of things? So if we assume that Kaito and I shot each other with the crossbow, then the most efficient way to solve this is to set up a timeline of events. Hey, I said, why are you... Alrighty then, let the debate begin! An asshole. When the crossbow fired, what was even going on? If you need to ask, you were there! The crossbow was in Kaito's possession first. He probably fired the first shot at Kokichi too. Then Kokichi disarmed Kaito, took the crossbow, and returned fire. I didn't take the crossbow from Kaito. I secretly brought a different one! But only one crossbow was taken. The other two are still in my research lab. Still, only one arrow was fired. 
so how could they both shoot each other? By the way, crossbow shots hurt a lot. My wound is still aching something fierce. Two are still in the... but there's four cases. Just one arrow? Clearly contradicts the information I have. When the crossbow fired. Yeah, definitely. So we're, we're gonna wait for him to Kokichi too. Then Kokichi disarmed Kaito, took the crossbow, and returned fire. I didn't take the crossbow from Kaito. I secretly brought a different one. But only one crossbow was taken. The other two are still in my research lab. Still, only one was fired. That's wrong. What do you mean, one arrow? Well, I only gave Kaito one arrow, so... What? Are you positive? Of course! There's no way I got that wrong! Well then, that's strange, because... There were three arrows in the back room, remember? There were three arrows at the scene, but Himiko said that well, she brought only one. What's going on here? Um, maybe Kokichi had some hidden away? Why would Kokichi have two arrows when he didn't have a crossbow to fire them? But we know for certain that three arrows were recovered from the scene. And all three arrows had blood on them. And altogether, their clothes had three perforations in them. So we know for certain that they shot three arrows at each other. And where did the, those arrows come from? I don't think what Himiko is lying. There must be some angle to this we haven't considered yet. What is it? What could have happened? Think. I need to think. Is it driving again or was... Yeah, it's driving. Ah, oh, jeez. Back to this crap again. Now they move again. Yeah, I missed one. So, what do I think? I honestly have no idea. Now, well, like I thought, I think uh, someone got reanimated and they have an uh, access all right now. And Kaito and Kikichi are both crushed by, by the hydraulic press. And just for irony's sake, I'm thinking that might be created, but yeah, it doesn't. It, it seems kind of weird. So yeah, that's just how could I come up with the most ridiculous scenario? That's what I'm doing right now. So it's not exactly based on logic or evidence. It doesn't contradict anything directly right now. There we go. Let's run you over in the car. Spread, spread apart. Two, two, uh, there we go. There's a bunch on there. Oh, some bumper belt car. There we go. Uh, there are all the arrows. Wait, what what? Did I miss something? I think I missed the doll just now. I hope it's not going to bite me in the ass later on. Yeah, I don't remember collectibles being of any importance in the previous games. Oh, come on! I can't even reach that! Oh, shit. There we go. Well, I have some stuff inside the finger from the stand. How should I know? She's not lying, so no. Yes, I mean yes. Should be yes. So 
okay, the guys are wondering. No. Well, how did we get there then? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, what next? Yeah, those are quick ones. Yeah, I think there's a crowd on the lights. Damn it. There we go. Still a car. There we go. We got... Mikey. Okay. Oh, party. Like I was just nobody in particular, just the third party. I guess we need to drag out this glass trail a little bit more. Could it be that the additional arrows were brought in by a third party? A third party? So someone besides Kokichi or Himiko? That's just a guess though. There's no way a third party exists. If a third party did exist, why would they bring two arrows? Hydro was the only one with a crossbow. I made sure I handed it to him. Kaito said he only needed one arrow. Clearly, he didn't want to fight. Yeah, that's right. So the other two arrows weren't for Kaito. They were for the third party to use themselves. So the third party didn't hand the arrows through the window. Instead, they went into the hangar and shot the crossbow themselves? Impossible. There was an alarm system and an electric barrier around the hangar. You're just implicating yourself forever and forever, baby. Yeah. The hangar should have been completely closed off, right? It was completely closed off, but can I confirm that? I feel like there might be an old way, some way that I haven't figured out yet. I'm overlooking something. Think, think. What level did the third party use to enter the hangar? Uh. Yeah, that's a lot of letters. Oh. I don't know. What does that have to use? Explosion? No. Don't give me P. Give me a lot of P. <laughs> I think this was P. Nope. X. Exosol? Oh, it could. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, Saw could be used to enter the hangar. We couldn't get in because of the alarm system and the electric barrier, but that shouldn't have been a problem for any of the exosaws, right? I mean, yes. So if you wanted to enter the hangar, all you had to do was pilot an exosaw. So they should remember that. I saw an exosaw enter the hangar last night. So was this third party piloting it? By the way, I just want to confirm something with Monokuma. Would the alarm still go off if there was a person inside an exosol? Well, I wasn't trying to keep this secret, but since it's about the details of the hangar, I guess I can tell you guys. It makes sense that the alarm system and electric barrier wouldn't react to an exosol. After all, the hangar is where the exosols are supposed to be stored. It'd be a hassle to disable the security every time an exosol comes and goes, you know? 
So even if someone is inside an exosol, the security system wouldn't catch them. Because it'd be a hassle to leave the exosol every time you have to put it away. So it's like Shuichi said, a third party got in an exosol and entered the hangar? But can just anyone pilot an exosol? Well, Kokichi? It's surprisingly easy. If you use both hands, both feet, and both nipples, you can do it. What was that last part? Nipples too! Anyway, this third party commandeered an exosaw and infiltrated the hangar. That same person must have brought the other two arrows with them. I told you that's impossible. Huh? There's no way you can get through security if you pilot an exosol. It's not possible. What? Not possible. Maki, what are you talking about? What are you thinking? What do you know? Why are you trying to hide it? Why? Why won't you tell me? Someone was piloting the exercise. The two exercises are the same kind. One was in a storage of its cockpit closed, the other was in the middle of a hangar with its hatch open, and it's. Actually, now when I think about it, was that red exercise there the whole time watching them investigate and such? Please. They could have used it to enter the hangar. That's not possible. Is operating the exercise? Really that difficult? So do we even know how to get inside an exosol? Outside the hangar there were four exosols. And they were all moving too. I was controlling them remotely. The electro hammers weren't an option. Yesterday all the hammers were still recharging. There's no way to stop an exosol. So getting inside one would have been impossible. You're right, it's impossible! It's not impossible. It's an electric hammer to bring down an exosol. There would be evidence that it was used. If someone was piloting the exosol, yeah, I'm thinking of a second to last sentence and you just poof, electric hammer. That's it's not possible. Yes, move on, move on, move on, move on, move on. Really that difficult? Do we even know how to get inside an exosol? Inside the hangar there were four exosols. And they were all moving too. I was controlling them remotely. The electro hammers weren't an option. Yesterday all the hammers were still recharging. There's no way to stop an exosol. So getting in there. Possible. What? It's time to control the little mode. So look up to them. This kid of the camera, jeez, it's not that difficult. They could have used it to enter the hangar. That's not possible. Is operating the exosol really that difficult? Do we even know how to get inside an exosol? Outside the hangar, there were four exosols, and they were all moving too. I was controlling them remotely. The electro hammers weren't an option. Such Yesterday, is. all the hammers were recharging. There we go. That's wrong. No, there we go. Wait, not all of the electro hammers were being charged. I know because I found one. There was a used electro hammer near Monokuma and the Exosols. Yes, I think so. When I saw them last afternoon, there were four exosols. But this morning, there were only three. I noticed that too. Was the missing exosol taken by this third party? <laughs> Shuichi is getting warmer. How about you say the answer right now? Who did it? Who is this third party? I didn't say the third party. The electric hammer gives us a clue. 
I saw four exits also at the scene yesterday when I went up to meet of Cairo. This morning when we were trying to get into the hangar, they were free. The culprit must have used the electric hammer between yesterday afternoon and this morning. There's only one person among us I think uh, could do that. And that was obvious for a while now. It's you! Maki, you're the third party we're looking for, aren't you? What? It's Maki? What are you saying? Remember what Kokichi said. But be careful, the electric hammers run out of battery pretty quickly. So if you use it against the Nexusol, it'll run out of juice with just one shot. Got it? The Electro Hammer needs to be recharged for 24 hours after it runs out of battery. That hammer was used last afternoon, so it couldn't have been used this morning. Oh, right. When we were all gathered in the dining hall this morning... Lucky, where's your Electro Hammer? I'd rather not use a weapon, I'm, I'm, I'm familiar with. This is much better. A knife? Well, I suppose you know best. Maki was the only one without an electro hammer, wasn't she? Knowing that, the electro hammer I found could only have belonged to Maki. And that leads me to the conclusion that Maki must be the third party. She also knows how to assemble the crossbow, and could have returned it to her lab later. You brought a different crossbow than the one Kaito had, right? Maki took two arrows and her own crossbow from her lab, disabled the Exosoft with an electro hammer, and infiltrated the hangar. I seriously just wanted to log to the time when she said there were only two cases, because I know that was a lie. Now we just have to figure out what happened after I'll kill you. I could have probably the shortcut to this place. Why are you doing this? What? Why are you getting in my way? Getting in your way? Maki, what are you- Yes. I'm the third party. Huh? I admit to going into the hangar with an exosol. And then shooting the crossbow. I didn't kill anyone. I'm not the culprit! You're right. I used the electro hammer, and I used the exosol to enter the hangar too. I also shot the crossbow there. However, I'm not the culprit because the crossbow is not the murder weapon. The crossbow is not the murder weapon. What do you mean? The arrows left holes in the clothes. Think about the locations of the wounds. They were on his arm and back. An arrow to each of those spots wouldn't result in a fatal injury. That's why the crossbow can't be the murder weapon. Therefore, I'm not the culprit. Okay, I think I should have used poison on that uh, point. I don't want to think that Mike is a culprit. I want to believe her. Maybe the injury doesn't seem fatal, but there's no uh, there's the a way to make it do for. Think about the locations of the wounds. They were on his arm and back. An arrow to each of those spots wouldn't result in a fatal injury. Yeah. Oh, cut through your words. There we go. Also, when is the intermission coming? Dragging up a little bit. It wouldn't matter where the arrow hit if it were poisoned. The poison? I noticed something about the poison in my lab during the investigation. There was just a little less in the bottle than before. If that poison had been applied to those arrows, they would have been lethal, no matter where they connected. Maki, do you have a rebuttal? What's the matter? Why don't you say anything? Don't tell me. Are you... really the culprit? Th there's no way she is! Because... why would she kill Kaito? <laughs> 
if you don't explain anything? Maki is still fighting. Huh? Fighting? Do you remember that Maki said she would do anything to defeat Kokichi? Maki is trying to kill Kokichi in this class trial. She wants to kill the mastermind, a remnant of despair. Then when Maki said she would sacrifice anything, she meant... Sacrifice of Maki talking about must be... That's it! She plans to sacrifice all of our lives in order to kill Kokichi. Sacrifice us? Then by hiding the truth, Maki was trying to get us to arrive at the wrong answer. Just to kill Kokichi and the rest of us along with him? Doesn't that mean that Maki's the culprit? She knew what happened and tried to hide it from us. But that mischievous plan was ruined, all thanks to Shuichi here. Too bad, Maki. I already predicted this would happen. You knew all along that Maki was the culprit. That's why you've been so calm. This isn't over. Hmm? Maybe we do have the truth now, but this isn't over. We have a choice to make. We don't have to follow where the evidence leads. Huh? What do you mean? Does this mean you're gonna vote for someone else, even if it's not the truth? Someone else? You mean vote incorrectly on purpose? What did you say? Kaito told me that only I would be able to grasp what lies beyond the truth. That means finding the truth is not enough. We need to grasp the hope just beyond it. So Maki, please tell us the truth. The truth that only you know. So Kaito said that to you. Then, does that mean you guys made up before he died? Yeah, when I went to see him yesterday. I see. Okay, I'll talk about it. Especially since it's my responsibility for involving everyone. Shuichi, you're so persistent. Were you always like that? Nope, he wasn't, thanks to Kaiden. Uh, you think so? Maybe Kaito's charisma is starting to rub off on me. That guy could be pretty stubborn. Then what really happened? Maki, please tell us. Please. And so, Maki began telling the truth. A truth that would leave us all in shock. Yo, get the hell out of here. Don't just start narrating things, you're ruining the mood. Well, I guess this turn of events isn't exactly boring either. There's an intermission. Oh god, my back. Oof. Ah. Jeez. Well, <coughs> and then, the Monokuma and Cups Theater uh, segment began. But with all the Monokup destroyed, this segment was no longer possible. And so the curtain quickly fell. But the curtain didn't fall. <laughs> And he just stood there. Hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up. Wait, I don't look at the map. <laughs> Damn. That's the only thing I want to do right now. Just want to look at that map, man.